Hey guys, welcome to CGTV, brought to you by CasualGameGuides.com. I'm Haley Bright, and here with me is my lovely co-host, Marcia Ray, here to talk about the top five hottest casual games of 2012. That's right. And starting it off, number five, we have Spirit of Mysteries, Song of the Phoenix. Now, after the first Spirit of Mystery games, I was pretty excited and kind of looking forward to this one. But the one question, would it live up to our expectations? Well, we are relieved to tell you that the Spirits of Mystery, Song of the Phoenix, definitely came up all aces. The storyline is kind of a mashup of Romeo and Juliet meet Sleeping Beauty. Star-crossed lovers of the kingdoms of Phoenix and Dragon are destined to marry to bring peace to their lands after 300 years of war. But at the last minute, an unwelcome wedding crasher, who looks nothing like Vince Vaughn, ruins the party. And it's up to the princess to save her prince and rescue the entire kingdom. No sweat, right? With jaw-dropping graphics and one of the most unique takes we've seen on hidden object games, Song of the Phoenix continues to hold steady at number five. And that takes us to number four, House of a Thousand Doors, The Palm of Zorister. Um, we we'll once again find ourselves playing as Kate Reed, the washed up author turned savior. <laughs> Kate is again called to save the day, this time from a cursed gym that's been barbecuing the socks off the tents at the Lancaster house. What we don't love about this game, it's so freaking well done. The cutscenes are some of the most realistic that you're going to find out there, and the graphics are totally killer for a hidden object game. The storyline draws you in like a vegetarian at a salad bar from the moment your car goes careening off the road in a fiery blaze. Everything about this game screams play me, and I'm happy to answer that call. And speaking of calls, coming in at number three, Agency of Anomalies, Cinderstone Orphanage. Our steadfast detective comes in and he's called into the Cinderstone Orphanage, and suddenly there's a mysterious fire that makes the headmistress disappear, as well as her special protégés. Turns out this creepy, I mean, charming orphanage is the casual game version of Charles Xavier's School for the Gifted, as each kid has a special paranormal ability. Don't get too excited, you can't control the weather or snickety snipe anyone with your wolverine claws, but you can make things move with your mind. I know, you just got Jean Grey'd. I'm sorry. Wear Cyclops when you need him. Anyhow, this game boasts some pretty amazing graphics as well as interactive HOG scenes and some pretty difficult puzzles, which keeps it at number three on our list. And that brings us to number two, Living Legends Ice Rose. Um, this is actually the only game on our list that's not a sequel, interestingly enough. But I have a feeling that it's going to be so much different. We're going to be seeing so much from this franchise if Ice Rose is any judge of this. So what's the story? Well, the tiny town of Rosemont has been cursed by the evil Snow Queen. It's like Narnia! Wait, wait, wrong story. Anyhow, how can you forget the haunting sighs of the violins that whisper through the lonely ice encased town? The mist and the snow-covered hamlet dripping with icicles was by far one of the most gorgeous settings we've seen all year. While the story might be a little played out, the graphics, gameplay, and even the soundtrack more than make up for its lack of originality, giving it a number two rating on our list. Which brings us to our number one, drumroll please, Ta -da -da! it is Mystery Trackers Black Isle. Now Mystery Trackers is just a fantastic series, period, mm -hmm. and Black Isle really brings it home with it being an amazing hidden object game. After a field reporter has gone missing on the Black Isle, our Mystery Trackers detective is assigned to the case. That wasn't Tara, was it? No. I think she's still trying to get that kid from Drawn Trail of Shadows to draw her cocktail. Oh. Anyways, this fearless detective faces down lightning bolts, fiery cars, ferocious puppy dogs, and an endless supply of owls who just keep staring. What do they want? Do you know what they want? What is it, owl? Is Pooh stuck in the honey tree again? Uh, anyhow. With cutscenes that display bolts of lightning real enough to fry your hard drive, and of course gameplay that's absolutely astounding for an HOG, Mystery Trackers, Black Isles leads the way for our hottest game of the year. And there you have it, the top five hottest games of 2012. Remember, you guys can play all these games and more at casualgameguides.com. From all the crew here at CGTV, thanks for joining us. Again, I'm Haley Bright. And I'm Marisha Ray. And you stay classy, casual gamers.
on in that thing. <laughs> Did you see those VOUS? Bats of unusual size? Of Russia? You told me they didn't exist. You mix it all the cave. You know, I'm just saying, because you look a little nervous. No, nervous? No, not nervous. I mean, concerned, maybe, but, but not nervous. I mean, they're, they're different, right? Okay, you're sick. I'll humor you. After much scrambling around in the dark and a stubbed toe here and there, Tara eventually made her way to the next land. Mount.